Moving on guys, the Black Ops 4 Zombies reveal really surprised us when it was announced that there would be two separate storylines. I already made a video on the 9 and the Voyage of Despair storyline, but now I want to take a closer look at the continuation of the Aether storyline. It's pretty interesting considering that Revelations was supposed to be the ending of that story, but with the announcement of Blood of the Dead, there's been some confusion as to when it takes place and whether or not it's already been listed on the official Zombies timeline. So that's what I'm going to be trying to shed some light on in this video. Video. And even though we only got a pretty short trailer, there are some conclusions we can draw from it. The most important thing in this trailer, without a doubt, is the inclusion of having Rick Toffet's blood files clearly visible. We'll get back to that in a second, but first we have to take a look at the history of the blood vials that have been around since before the release of Origins. The first time we ever saw the blood vials was in a teaser trailer for Origins nearly 5 years ago when they were present on Rick Toffet's player model. At this point, we had absolutely no idea what their purpose was besides having the cell numbers from Mob of the Dead, and that carried through into Black Ops 3's The Giant and Dorizendrak. Finally, everything sort of came together and happened at once when we completed the Zetsubo no Shima easter egg. It is revealed that the Primus crew teleports to Alcatraz and Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio receive blood vials of their own. Richtofen then goes on to say that this is an insurance policy in case they don't like where they end up. After this, we actually see Richtofen drinking the blood vials in the Revelations Director's Cut trailer, presumably to be able to stay in Dr. Monty's perfect world. Dr. Monty even comments on the blood vials existing when he notices them on Richtofen during the end cutscene of Revelations. So that's a pretty easy chain of events to follow, but you can see now how much emphasis has been put on the blood vials for many years at this point. The question now is, how does this tie into Blood of the Dead? Well, if you pay close attention to Richtofen in the trailer, you'll notice that he's the only person that has blood vials. And it's not like this is a misleading shot or anything that's hiding the blood vials on purpose, but I'm pretty confident this is showing us that these characters don't have them whenever this map takes place. And at this point, I quickly want to mention that yes, the blood vials look kind of discolored as if they were filled with something else, but this was confirmed last year to be a glitch with the coloring and rendering by Treyarch. The same thing happened in the Zombies Chronicles gameplay trailer, and it was said that this is an error on Treyarch's side, so these blood vials are actually filled with blood. So at this point, we know this map takes place when Rick Toffin has the blood vials and the other three characters don't. That's something we could say with pretty much 100% confidence. Now unless Treyarch has added another wrinkle to their story, we could safely say that this map takes place immediately after Zetsubo no Shima in Dimension 63. I do understand that the Aether storyline can be pretty hard to follow, but if you read the official Zombies timeline, you can see that Mob of the Dead only exists in Dimension 63 and that is exactly where the Primus crew went to after Zetsubo no Shima. So I really hope that cleared up any confusion in terms of the time period Blood of the Dead could possibly be in. I just want to say that information on the Zombies map is pretty limited compared to the other two so we'll have to wait until more information becomes available, but if you guys have any more questions or requests for videos on the other zombie stuff, then please tell me down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more Black Ops 4 Zombies videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.